it's for Tiffany Lowry. Today we'll be discussing the evolution of beauty and our perception of beauty and how it's changed throughout the decades. We also will be discussing helpful hints to make yourself feel beautiful. Oh my god, the idea of beauty has evolved so dramatically in the past decades, it's unbelievable. It's crazy. The oh, number yeah. of beauty products on the shelves, the ability to retouch your photos to mm -hmm. perfection, accessibility to plastic surgery. If you go back to like a old movies and look at them then and look at movies now, the bar for beauty has been raised exponentially. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You want long hair, you can go get it. You want your eyelashes, you can go and buy it. You know what I mean? It's just very easy. But it's just so crazy when I look at these ads and commercials and movies and these models and celebrities are looking so perfect. Their bodies are fit it's to perfection. Bad. Bad. Their <laughs> skin has not even one wrinkle and not even a pimple. Like, Solid. really? Mm -hmm. And it's just like, how could you not feel pressure to look a certain way when the celebrity, even though I know there's retouching, I know there's altering, I know they have a full staff behind them. To but you're going to feel inadequate if you're comparing yourself to that. Ex well, exactly. That's what we want to fight. We are <laughs> now here because of the men, all to receive the affections and the validations of the men. I mean, come on, let's just be honest. I think it goes all the way back to feminism, right? Um, the 40s pinup models that was right. kind of the turn where we're a little more you know naked we're showing more skin the we're red lipstick more, right <laughs> red lipstick then was like you didn't oh wear it oh yeah. lady of the night. <laughs> and so it started lady with kind of getting into it burlesque shows and this right. sort of thing and now we fast forward now to Kim Kardashian and Nicki Minaj booties and this surgery and this it's in your and face this trend sexuality. And, it, and it's just like as technology it's just more and more bigger but uh, it's too much well, it's too much. They're the molds of beauty right now. Mm -hmm. They are the standard. Every woman's trying to be like her. If you look on Instagram or Facebook Every girl's contouring their face to look like them. I'm like, how yes. many Kim Kardashians the same are there? They got the same dress on. Uh, I know. I used to feel like that when I go to the club. Everyone had the same tight fitted, tight dress, and it's just yes. everyone looks like yes. it. It's crazy. Yes, that's all. But I understand why. Because, you know, good looking people tend to get better jobs. They, you know, there's benefits, there's power. It's reward without yeah, merit. You exactly. didn't do anything to earn it, but it's just given oh, to no, you. She did her eyebrow, all... she did the contour. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. No, there's all types of studies that show, you know, people in power make higher wages. You know, our presidents have been taller, and some of them, the you know, mm -hmm. and oh, yeah. more attractive power. You know, and for women, it's the same thing. I mean, let's be honest, we've all benefited at some time or another, <laughs> more times probably than not from being attractive. It's just society, and it just is what it is. So I get people striving to be that way. Because, I mean, it's and, of, yeah, there's yeah. a benefit. I'm not gonna lie. Well, I, you guys know that I was recently diagnosed with vitiligo, right. which is a skin condition where you lose the pigment in your skin. So the bottom half of my face right now, you can't tell, but I'm wearing makeup. Good makeup. Yes, <laughs> very good makeup. And I was never a person who wore makeup. I'm a very natural person. I'm happy and confident with myself. So now that I have this condition, people kind of look at me a little bit different. They kind of give a second glance of like, wait, wait. She's, that's not normal, like, that's different, you know? So people are scared of different. So They're not comfortable with no, different. No, yeah, they're not comfortable with different. So I do feel the pressure of society to wear makeup and to be glammed up now. I, It's hard for me to walk outside my house without putting makeup on, truthfully. I honestly understand what you're going through because when I was younger, it was not cool to have these cheekbones. <laughs> like, I was truly ostracized by kids. They would um, yell mean things to me, tell me I look like Skeletor, told me that I look like The Walking Dead. But, you fast forward 20, 25 years later, I know it is. <laughs> 
20, 25 years later, people are actually paying for cheekbone implants. So that shows you how yeah. dramatically beauty standards can change. Oh yeah. And that is what it's gonna be like in the future. I mean, there was a time where people had thin eyebrows and went and tattooed them on, and now thick eyebrows are in. So things right. are constantly yeah. evolving. And I'll, I'll admit, dream. I had a little moment recently. I mean, you ladies know, I um, recently had a hip replacement. Mm -hmm. And I didn't realize how much I had associated feeling sexy and beautiful with what I wore and being able to wear my heels. I had to wear flats. I was in pain all the time, prior to the surgery, a little bit after the surgery. And it's embarrassing to admit that it really, really bothered me. Because I know men like heels. It toots our booty out. <laughs> Make sure leg but a little longer. But I, had, I knew, like, Tiff, this is shallow. <laughs> this is silly. You're confident. That doesn't make you. And da 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 But I, it's embarrassing. It took a toll. But it took, you know, and I'm, I'm finally got okay with it. But, you know, that's kind of embarrassing to admit. Well, yeah. it's crazy. However, to many people, um, getting that validation, whether it's from a man, whether it's from friends or women, does make a difference on how you feel. Oh yeah. I know growing up, I um, developed very quickly. So in middle school, I had a lot of curls. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I had a little extra, extra or something. Um, but you know, the great thing about getting older and you know, age is that you do get more comfortable with who you are. You get comfortable with what you look like. You know what I mean? And mm -hmm. it's just that's probably the best thing, and just it really just shining through. And, and that's why it's, it's super important not to compare yourself to other people. There's always going to be somebody taller, yeah, thinner, man, prettier, Lord. and yeah. you're given this little vehicle in life to navigate with. You do whatever you feel comfortable doing, whether it's plastic surgery or whatever it is that's right. going to make it comfortable for you because in the end, it won't even matter. Oh yeah. For me, I just throw on some heels, a push-up bra, and I'm good to go. <laughs> no, but if, if you are gonna go through plastic surgery, get the best doctors. Pay a little bit more money, mm -hmm. and realize that there's a chance that it might not come out the way that you want it to, because, you know, there's complications. It's just, it's a huge risk. Death could be one of them. <laughs> I mean, which is serious. It's We've nice. lost people who went under the knife, you know, to have plastic surgery done. This is real. No, but here's the thing. You gotta consider that. You here's know? the thing, when it comes to the external, anything can be purchased. You can, you, like you said, you can, you want longer hair, you can buy longer hair. You want this, you can get that. It's, it all comes with a price tag on it. But the internal doesn't. So if I am, mm -hmm got all this external how I want it to be and I still feel down, that's when I go to the gym and work out because yeah. that's going to make right. me feel beautiful right. on the inside. Right. Mm -hmm. I say focus on your best qualities. It doesn't have to be external. You know what I mean? I, I think I have a great smile. <laughs> external. <laughs> it does, but listen, I'm still going someplace with this. But for me, I feel like it's my, my wit and humor, you know, my personality more so. And of course, just like anybody else, there's times I feel insecure or whatever. And I may go home, put on some lingerie by myself, and dance to some Sade, or whatever that is to feel sexy. But also, it's, you know, volunteering. I love kids, mentoring, that sort of thing. I feel like it's a sense of giving back, and that makes me feel beautiful as a person. I agree. I'm in the same wavelength as you. I feel like, one, you got to focus on your best assets. For me, it is my smile, but I also have a nice neck and collarbone. Um, <laughs> but, you know, that's just my little thing. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, it's all about confidence. You would see this girl who might not look like a thing to you, but she'll walk <laughs> in and steal the show because she has an air her. about mm -hmm. her. You know what oh, I mean? Yeah. And it's the confidence. It's the self-esteem. It's in her eyes. It's in her smile. It's the way she moves. You know what I mean? Yeah. She feels good about herself. And for me, I feel the best on the outside when I'm the best in the inside, when I'm actually being the better person, when I'm being a good person. Beauty really comes from shows. within. Yeah. You exactly. have to be careful not to allow your perception of beauty to be wrapped up in your external. Of course. Because eventually course. we all are going to have to relinquish the things of our youth. And one of those things is our appearance. Yeah. And so if you, this is all you have to rely on in life, then you're going to have a really bumpy, hard road ahead of you. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, there's always going to be somebody who can never have enough surgeries, can't get enough hair, makeup, lashes, implants. It's always going to be something because they haven't found that thing within themselves that makes them feel good. And I say to those people, go talk to somebody. 
figure out what that is that makes you feel beautiful as a person, makes you feel empowered, yes. makes you mm -hmm. able to go out and live your life to the fullest. Like that's really, really, really important. Yep. Because everything else just is focusing. Fleeting. Everything else is fleeting. Mm -hmm. I agree. So. Guys, that's our show for today. Um, again, please visit us on www.ladiesofla.com, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter us, leave us some comments, and let us know what you think about the episode. Yes, see you right, next, next time. time. Bye, Bye, guys. Bye. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. That was beautiful. Well, that was a child. That was my idea of me. And then I had to teach him and he looked. I felt like something I could achieve. I can't yeah. Yes!